Okay, let me just throw you a scenario real quick. Let's just say you're about to go on a blind date and you're gonna go to one of the nicest spots in your town, in your area. So what do you do, man? You start looking good, you grab your favorite outfit, you get your hair done, get the nice shape up for the fellas and you're ready to go. You even clean out your car. But then you get to the spot, you're waiting at the table, the person shows up and they're not wearing anything but a t-shirt, some sweatpants and some flip-flops. Yeah, that's quite a first impression, don't you think? Well, some of y'all are doing this exact same thing when it comes to your content and what you're wearing. So let's have the discussion today. I want to talk to you about how what you're wearing, your apparel, your fashion is affecting how people are taking your content and your music. And today we're going to talk about it. But real quick, we got to show love to the sponsors. So if you want to learn more about them, be sure to check out the links in the description of this video. And as always, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. And let's get to work. Salute to that. So before we start, let me make something clear. I'm not here to bash your apparel choices. This is not what this video is about. Because honestly, everyone has their own particular style, their own different vibe, and that's a good thing. That's a really good thing, and it's gonna help you stand out. But what you, what you really do need to understand is how your choices and the things that you wear and the way that you present yourself really does affect how people perceive you, your brand, your music, etc. So recently I did a video talking about your brand as an artist and why it matters and why it's important. But the things that you wear, your clothes, are right in line with that. Listen, we can talk all day every day about how we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Well, me personally, if you're looking raggedy, I'm probably gonna judge that book until I know the story is good. And if I feel that way, I'm sure there are other people that feel the exact same way when it comes to your clothes. So to keep this simple, your attire should reflect the lane that you're in. Your genre, your subgenre, that culture as a whole. If you're a pop artist, I expect to look at you from a distance and be like, oh yeah, she's a pop artist. If I look over here, I should be able to go, oh, okay, he's, he's in a band or he's, he's metal. Okay, got you. If I look over here, oh, homeboy, he country, he, he does country music. All right, all right, cool. And if I, if I look you dead in your eye, I should be able to tell that you are a rapper, not someone that's pretending to be a rapper or just doing it for the likes, but someone that's like about rap culture and hip hop culture and you care about the discussions that we're having in that culture. That's what I mean. If I brought another person in front of you that's in your same genre and they had conversations uh, around you about things talked about in that culture, in that genre, in that lane, would you be able to hold your own and have those conversations? Would you be able to have conversations about the greatest of all time or the best of this era or the top four, or top five, or who's overrated, who's underrated, all these, would you be able to have those conversations and if you are then you're in the culture then you're in the culture and ultimately when you're when you're in culture you ultimately reflect culture so depending on where you're from city state country or whatever normally how you act and how you respond and how you talk and including how you dress reflects that so again your attire should reflect that culture matter of fact i have an honest question for you guys and i really need you to think on this if someone was to look at your music right now if someone was to look at your content right now if someone was to look at one of your music videos right now would they think that you're a professional music artist I i'm not asking would they think you're a, a rapper or singer or musician or producer if they were just looking at your videos would they think that you're a professional someone that's probably independent would they think that or would they just think that you're someone that probably just hopped out of bed just grabbed that wrinkled shirt off the floor that's been there for a couple days that person ain't brushed their teeth ain't done nothing with their hair none of that stuff and they hopped in front of a camera and tried to rap or tried to sing or tried to play their instrument or whatever it is do they think that you're a professional music artist be honest with yourself because some some of y'all some of y'all lacking in that department you're just you're just doing it you're just doing it you're just like well i'm making music because i have to make music or i'm doing music videos because i have to do music videos and you're not understanding that every aspect of that now and this year is hd 
high definition. So you, if you got them shoes, if you still wearing them shoes that you ain't never washed and it ain't clean, and you put it in the music video, you gonna have probably a super clean, super nice song with some real dirty shoes and now I'm distracted because of your dirty shoes. All right, no, sorry you bugging the Okay, okay, listen, how you look matters. That's, that's, that's it. Seriously, how you look matters. It may not stop me from listening to your music if you're super, super talented, if you're super crazy, ridiculous talented. Like, you, you as a vocalist, you're just that crazy. As a as a lyricist, you're just that dope. Your, your beats are just that fuego. It may not stop me from listening, but honestly, it's probably not going to keep me. It's probably not going to keep me. So, when, again, when we're looking at you, when people look at you and they look at your content, whatever it is, do I see a professional artist or do I see someone that's do, just doing it for clout, just doing it for attention, just doing it for likes or to get approval from the people around them? I don't know. This, this is a legitimate question I need you guys to ask yourselves. But what do you think? Did you feel like this video was helpful for you today? If so, you already know the deal, man. Go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Also, if there's a particular topic you want me to talk about, go ahead, go into the comment section. I do read my comments and I will get back to that ASAP. And as always, man, be you, enjoy your life and live authentic. Salutes to that. I'll catch y'all later.